My name is Rob. I'm a master's student at the University of Nottingham's campus in Ningbo, China. I'm training to do a marathon on the Great Wall. It's my goal to end polio now. Polio is an acute viral infectious disease spread from person to person, and infants are at the highest risk of getting it. It surely makes much more sense to try and eradicate polio now, so that we don't have to worry about this disease. But I went on a trip to Lanzhou with the Rotary Club of Shanghai. Lanzhou is an area in western China, and the aim of the trip was to donate some wheelchairs to people who'd been affected by polio. And this trip really opened my eyes to actually seeing how it really wrecks people's lives. I aim to raise enough money to vaccinate 1,000 children uh, from the risk of having polio. I've decided to run the Great Wall Marathon to raise this money to try and to get donations. Preparing for a marathon is hard enough, but the main obstacle with the Great Wall Marathon is it has over 5,000 steps over mountainous terrain. So training in Ningbo, a flat coastal city, is pretty challenging. When I first started training, naturally, I used the good facilities available to me on campus. The university and surrounding area is beautiful, which makes my preparation much more enjoyable. I much prefer to get out and explore parts of Ningbo which I haven't been to before. You get to see totally different sides of China in just one single run. The first part of my run goes through a newly built business centre. However, Within less than two miles, the backdrop of the skyscraper seemed totally out of place. It's great to get out and discover more about the local area and people's daily lives. They often seem quite surprised when they see me running through their village, but they're really friendly. I feel quite privileged because if I wasn't training for this marathon, I'd never get the chance to explore these unusual places and meet new people. Thanks to Nottingham University for supporting my trip to Beijing. I'm looking forward to my personal challenge ahead and also to a world where people can live without polio.